2020 und die U125. Die neuesten Modelle. Schnapsfest. Die Rote der Welt. Mit denen werden wir den Jungs dort drüben ordentlich einheizen. Du scheinst dich ja So today's bizarre game from the past is Velvet Assassin that came out in 2009. It's a third person stealth game set in World War II where you play as a female spy based off of a real world character. And in almost every way this is a strange game. First things first, so it's pretty solid in terms of controls. I was pleasantly surprised how well it does handle. In terms of the gameplay, it's your standard sort of snaking about, uh, trying not to make noise, etc. The gunplay is surprisingly good. I, I quite enjoyed the gunplay. Sadly, you don't get very much in the way of ammunition, so it's not a viable gameplay strategy. And it's very linear, so you are essentially forced to murder the various people in your way. As they come up, there's not much you can do about it has some interesting sound elements like broken glass, make noise so you can't sneak over it etc. There's a physical indicator on the left hand side of the screen showing if it has a highlight then you are in shadow to make it harder to see where you are which is nice it's having these visual indicators and on the character as well that you are in shadow is useful to have. Stealth games often struggle with just a failure of information makes it more difficult, but not in this. And there's no overarching plot, you are doing a series of unconnected missions. But where it starts to get weird is there's just many things that are good ideas done in the most bizarre way. For example, you can get a uniform, that means you can, you know, not sneaking about in a more social element a bit like hitman where people don't know you're not meant to be there but like look at her she looks like a waifu it's such a strange back posture to her i couldn't help notice that they've gone for a a double tap with uh, her boots with the noise so she heel first and the sole and it gives a double tap to it but it's out of sync they put enough thought and consideration into how she would walk in this situation, but didn't bother syncing it up with the animations. It's strange. I still don't. I don't know what uniform this is either, um, <laughs> or why there's a surprisingly large number of female SS uniforms kicking about. But that's the complete sidetrack at this point. <laughs> what else we got? There is morphine you can take that uh, will slow down time and allows you to dart across the map to stab the one guy who seen you. Because you can't attack people with your knife from the front. It gives you a nice leeway of if someone's seen you, you can use this to get out of a bad situation before it completely cascades in disaster. But again, just, just look at this clip. And <laughs> just what was that? <laughs> what, well, why does why is she in her underwear? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> why am I here? I, it's such a good idea. <laughs> and then they did that. I've never had morphine, but I don't think that happens. And then the weirdest part of this whole game is the way they represent the German troops. They mention it's the SS quite often, so you know what you're dealing with. We all understand the general premise of the Nazis, and they're very uh, iconic with their uniforms and how they look. And we, we all have an association to the SS of what that means. But then it weirdly goes out of its way to humanise everybody. The first guy you kill is a drunk guy who's flailing about his uneasy to kill you can't go around him or anything you have to kill him and then the next two guards you come up to and the game does this a lot actually you will come across two guards and they will have a conversation you can't get past them until they've had this conversation it normally results in you having to murder them but then the two of them are having a conversation about their colleague who you've just brutally murdered 
about how he's on the drink at the moment because he's been through some shit and can't cope. Maybe you should go check on him. Like, that was a strangely humanising moment. There's a bit in France where they're going on about they need to take these uh, paintings back to Germany. And not for the monetary value of them, because they're works of art and they should be appreciated and kept safe. One guy is going on a monologue about how he loves he loves how well the black is painted on these paintings. You just can't replicate this. You move machines. It has to be done painstaking over years. Am I meant to hate these guys or feel sorry for brutally stabbing them? Because again, you do brutally stab a lot of these people. I don't know if it's tonally deaf or making a point. Unfortunately, sometimes you are just, oh, I can't, can't get past this man. I'm going to have to take the pin out of a grenade and blow him and his mates up. It's just bizarre. And then there's some bits which I feel uh, don't make any sense. Just no sense at all. Characters oddly sexualized as well. I wouldn't... <sighs> I don't think I'd call the game sexist, maybe of its time. There's quite a bit of restraint for when you're crawling through vents not having the camera in the obviously pervy way you go first person, which is makes more sense in terms of gameplay. I can see what's going on easier from my hidey hole. Oh, the weird thing is when you're in uniform, the Germans will know you're not who you say you are from proximity. Pure proximity. It doesn't matter if they're looking at you or you've made noise or anything. They just know. Which means you can't sneak up on people anymore. You simply cannot sneak up and stab someone in the back if you've got a uniform on because they can sense that you are not a German officer. It's so strange. The, the boss I fought as well. You can't sneak up to him. You have to take a shotgun and shoot everybody and it's such a change of pace. And also the ladders and the doors. Why, why do they cut between bits on the ladder why can't you just climb up a ladder what's what is this achieving i wanted to hate this game a lot more than i do i'm just a bit bored of stealth games now things like hitman have really changed how we we play these games the linear stealth missions aren't aren't as engaging but some passion's gone into this the art design i don't like everything is a weird yellowy color i am colorblind so maybe it's not as bad for other people but it's particularly bad for me it's everything's washed out and yellow and horrible yes yeah, so that's my take on the game velvet assassin that nobody's heard of it's probably not worth a, a look at it's on sale at the moment for about 70 pence anyway have a lovely day